my new maraca. <laughs> it's Saturday the 5th of June 2021. Stain start. This is, we're three weeks into our moving journey. Oh, so we're at the stage of absolute... Wanting to cry and not, <laughs> and not move and then the regretting... We need therapy. <laughs> so bringing up to speed. So we decided we're moving to Southampton. Don't have to work in the office as much, so let's commute from Southampton. We're moving house. Yeah. Well, we're a bit far off moving house. You remember a few months ago when we got the washing machine and I touched the ceiling and went, don't touch the ceiling because you'll make fingerprints and we'll have to wash it down. We've now got to that point where we need to decorate because we've not decorated since we've been here for 11 years. Oh, I think the, if you can hear a fan noise, it's because... It's hot. <laughs> we're decorating the bedroom. Yeah. And the walls are filthy. Like, now the furniture's been moved out, it is... You've never seen this room, have you? Because we've not... Well, yeah, so... There you go, there's a wall. There's a window. There's a David. There's a David and there's a wardrobe and the bed. The bed is covered in polystyrene... Polo... Polo water? Polystyrene. They're not from Anselm, I've been dusting the walls down. Bedroom treats. Um, We're dusting the walls because yesterday, let me show you, David and I had a lovely day. David less so than me. This is it was our anniversary as this well. Is <laughs> well, look, I'll show you. First of all, we had electricians in. Remember, we had the flood with the neighbours upstairs, and we got the water marks and that light switch didn't work anyway. David's about to. I'm going to do a stain stop. So David's doing stain stop, so I'm going to leave him to do that. But you remember our hallway where we put all our tut. Three weeks ago, we realised we needed space to do decorating. I'm going to let you do your maraca thing first. It's been quite traumatic so far, the house moving malarkey. Yeah, three weeks ago we got a lock up yeah. and that stuff from the hallway and bedroom and living room, basically everywhere. We've entered the flat. Well, we thought we have, but we've still got quite a few bits left. So we've got a 25 by 25 lock up. This is a photo of it after the first trip. <laughs> then the second trip. This is the second trip. <laughs> um, now before lockdown, if I saw a bargain on toilet paper, I would buy it. We love Nicky toilet paper. There's a reason for this story. We love Nicky toilet paper. Um, it, and for a while it was £2 off and that was at the end of 2019. So I had a load of toilet paper. Soft on your dot. Bef- it is soft on your dot. Before the pandemic struck and people were panic buying toilet roll. After the first and second lockdown, it was on the special offer again. 4 99 for 18 rolls. Perfect. So I stocked up. But we stocked up quite a lot. And then we decided to move. So we've got toilet roll in storage. We've got but toilet roll till Christmas. We've got toilet roll till Christmas. And beyond. But I've saved myself two pounds in every packet, so I mean, that, <laughs> that's gone towards this house move. And you know, you're always gonna need it. But this is the photo of the toilet roll that David took when we had to take it into storage. You're having a toot. <laughs> and this is the photo of it when we put it in the storage at the top. It was like one of those corner shops you go to where they literally <laughs> they've stacked the top shelves full of toilet roll. So three weeks ago, we started boxing. Boxing is not fun. No, not when you've got a lot of junk. Because you need space to box, and we haven't got space. So over two weekends, that's all we did. We boxed, took it to storage, boxed, took it to storage. And we've still got stuff we need to take. We haven't done the kitchen yet. We've still got stuff in the living room. Um, and you'll see the stuff in the hallway, which I'm about to show you. But the two cupboards we had in the hallway, we wanted to take with us. They're a flat pack from Ikea. We had to make them in the flat. Now they're assembled. They don't fit in the lift. And no amount of friend-style pivot is going to take them down our front stairs. We've tried it. So we thought, oh, we're going to have to disassemble them and chuck them in the bin or take them to the dump. Luckily, the neighbours took them. Anyway, anyway, we're moving house. We're moving house. <laughs> That's what Ian's trying to say. <laughs> so today, on the hottest day of the year, we are painting... And filling holes and... ...the bedroom. Yesterday, as I said, David washed down the walls in the hallway. Here is a kind of midway through. I mean, we've had candles in that hallway, which is why there's been soot. But it looks like there's been a house fire. We watched some videos and we were told by videos that we can just use a really good primer and undercoat. So we're now going to do that because I can't. With a stain blocker, yeah. Yeah. So this is what the hallway looks like. We've got crates we're still packing, a little bit of tool set, and some coat hangers, boxes, bubble wrap because you've got wrap stuff. David not wearing a mask when he's spraying stuff. Oh, that's not good, is it? No. We've also bought ourselves a trolley. If you're moving. Buy yourself a trolley. That was a godsend. Middle-aged men humping boxes around. No, no, get yourself a trolley. Hallway looks like this. No cupboards, but these walls are clean. That ceiling has been cleaned, although in this light you can't really see, but it's got grimy marks. Hence, we're going to go over with a um, stain blocker undercoat primer. 
So the plan today is do the bedroom first because you want to get that sorted because we go back to work on Monday. So we're doing that first, then we'll move into the hallway and then we've got the living room. Living room looks like this. The good news is we've also finally got that aircon unit, which you probably would have heard of in a blog earlier in this year because I'm assuming this will come out once we've moved. Living room currently, bearing in mind, we've, yeah, this is what it looks like. There's the prime that we got. That's the box that the aircon came in literally yesterday. That's a shirt I was wearing, but I'm too hot. Some bedding from the bedroom. Clothes we've had in crates because we've got no space to put them. I mean, that's just a box of laundry at the moment. Messy old living room. I think you're up to speed. What you're about to see is the rest of our journey from Saturday the 5th of June through to us moving, hopefully sometime in 2021. Are you having fun? Oh, I've got sweat on. <laughs> <laughs> this is what two fat man painting looks like. <laughs> Hashtag only fans. <laughs> two fat painters, isn't it? <laughs> like it's the alternative to that cooking program. <laughs> two fat ladies. <laughs> oh, stain blocker, not fun. I'm probably making a cardinal sin of not being very neat at the edges, but I'm not being very neat at the edges. I'm trying. Well, all I know is that once this dries, we've got to paint it properly tonight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we really do. So I'm going to do the ceiling, which it's got scratches because there used to be a wardrobe here and the suitcase used to go on top and it used to scratch every time we put it on the roof. These walls were magnolia. They weren't stained that bad, that they were white and then went to that colour. They were magnolia and we're just yeah, doing the stain blocker and it's very hot. It's easier than scrubbing it with that uh, yellow stuff. Sugar sure. soap. At this rate, I'm not sure it is. Right, back to painting. Sunday the 6th of June. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. David's broke his duster. Oh, what are you doing with it down there? Oh, there we go. Doesn't matter. It's Sunday. It's the day after we started painting. Bedroom got done. <laughs> we finished the bed. We touched it up <laughs> this morning. This is what it looks like. It's grey, although in daylight it looks quite blue. Ceiling's done. David's still playing with his duster. Quite sure why. And we're just trying to put the room back together. We slept in the living room with the mattress last night. <laughs> it's like rounded. <laughs> and that with the aircon unit, it felt, it felt like end of days. Like we literally one room and that was it. <laughs> Armageddon was coming. So today, as I said, we touched up and re second coated the bedroom. That was David playing with my tit. And then we've done a bit of the hallway, haven't we? Yeah, I've done the ceiling. I think it needs another coat though. There's some dodgy bits. We primed the walls. Yeah, last everything. Masking tape took like 45 minutes. It does. <laughs> Preparation though, isn't it? It's key. So this is what the hallway looks like. Yeah, I'm not happy about ceiling. Oh yeah, where? Left, Dave, David's not happy, but then I think that's still wet. I filled in some holes in the ceiling, which have been there since... The we dawn of days. Now we had <laughs> lights moved when we moved in and never got the holes finished. They're not perfect, but... Oh, there we go. It's bad lighting you can't see. We're showing daylight. And there's also another one down the end, but it's okay. What's that Whitney Houston song? It's not right, but it's um, okay. <laughs> save a normal life for you, I thought you were going to say, but we're in different wavelengths. So it is Sunday night. We're both back to work tomorrow. So... <laughs> well, I don't know how I'm going to do work tomorrow. <laughs> the rest of the decorating will continue next weekend. Day 26 in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Saturday the 12th of June. It's the week after... The week before. <laughs> it's been eventful. We had Friday off. David painted the hallway. That's now done. Here's a picture. I'll show you the hallway in a second as it stands. So we're now doing the living room and kitchen. Kitchen, I think, is finished. It's white. But it's Saturday evening, so we'd hoped by this point we were further along. Here we are. It's like we're in the set of Dexter. Everything is covered in plastic. So either that or we're going to do a splashing video at Custard later, but mm -hmm. hashtag OnlyFans. Holes have been filled. Yes, it's grubby as hell. So we're going to prime the walls, prime the ceiling. <sighs> I'm so tired. And then we've got to paint the walls and the ceiling. In baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not baby blue, it's uh, Neo Classical 13, which is a grey with a hint of blue, but it does look like a boy's nursery. <laughs> well, anyway, for it, that's, not, that's quite grim. <laughs> I'll show you the hallway, because obviously we had to put stuff somewhere. What, you mean that £40 a week storage unit? <laughs> 
storage unit wasn't enough. Ta da! There's the empty hallway. It's nice colour now. Yeah, it's uh, baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> As if the hallway wasn't enough for putting stuff in the living room. Bedroom. There we go. That's what the bedroom looks like currently. And it's hot as hell, so there's a fan on. So, so there we are, that's the update. It's going well so far. We've, we need to get it finished, all the painting this weekend. So next weekend we can just focus on making it look pretty and getting ready for the estate agent. Yeah. Because we obviously want to get big books. Well, we just want to sell the move. <laughs> we, and the <laughs> fact that this we'll video- is 5p right now. The <laughs> fact that this video is out now means we've actually sold and we've moved, but. It's, oh, it's and a journey. Don't get me started on the balcony, look. There's the balcony, which you don't normally see. The gardini we got for the garden centre at Christmas. Dead. Neighbour's cat climbing over there. Scaffolding. That scaffolding in the building opposite went up July in 2020 for four weeks because they were sewing out the roof. It's now, as I said, June the 12th. 11 months. Anyway, hallway done. Kitchen. Oh, I was going to show you kitchen. I'm quite proud of your kitchen efforts. It's, it, I mean, to be fair, it's still a mess because we've not put anything back, but lights, ceiling. Blue lights. It's white. Exciting. Paint on the fridge. So we're going to crack on and um, I don't, well. don't know what you see next, but you will. Morning. Sunday, 13th of June. Bit of context. It's the first England game in... Euro the 2020, football. 2021. There's some football happening. We had a late night. Well, I say late night. We're out on the booze. We said we'd be finished by half ten, and we were pretty much finished by half ten. We did the ceiling, we did the ceiling, and we did cutting in. I think it looks all right this morning. Look. We've got, I mean, ignore the walls because they're just primed, and we were painting those today. And if the camera is white balanced, it'll look white. <laughs> <laughs> that's as white as it's going to get. Yeah, that's the ceiling. Kitchen, also looking white. It's also about 26, 27 degrees today. Yeah, and I literally just turned off the aircon so we can talk, and we've also turned off the radio yeah. so we can talk. One final push, got to do walls, and we need to be finished at a decent time. Because we've got life to do, we need to do some laundry. David's got to go away for work tomorrow. Yeah. I just need to just have a sit down and not be wearing my skimpy 118, 118 shorts. Oh, that's so hot. Which, I mean, <laughs> this makes no sense to you because you're not going to see them. <laughs> anyway. Right. Next weekend is the last push to get the, house, the flat ready for sale. So we need to have all the painting done this weekend. So next weekend we can make it look pretty. And also tidy up those edges that are going to be stressful to do because we've got cutting in we've got to do this the blue gray so we're going to tape up there and we're not sure if it's going to be okay because we only painted last night so we might be back late with a disaster as it rips off the paint i need to stop filming because david's body heat in his hand i'm duh, so duh. sweaty and <laughs> <laughs> right let's paint stop touching me Yo, big yo, storage. <laughs> it's Sunday the 20th of June. It's a week since we last filmed and we were in the midst of painting. We finished. Woo. It's a week later. Um, we'll show... two. We're at the storage place. We'll show you what we got in storage so far. Ta -da. That is our flat. I told you about the toilet rolls before. I'm not a hoarder. They were $4.99 as opposed to $6.99. I always have loads of toilet rolls because no one wants to run out when you're having a poop and you're lactose intolerant. And then we decided to move. We've got quite a lot of stuff to get in here today. We have, and this place shuts in 45 minutes. Oh, move, move. That's what we brought. Big yellow Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's so neat. Let's go get the last couple of bits. It's now Friday the 25th of June. Gosh, is it? Friday the 25th of June. So we're five days later. We've just had the estate agent and the photographer around for about 90 minutes taking photos. Okay, forever. And this is what the living room looks like. Ta da So we've got, got a plant on its own. The chair, which to be fair wasn't there. We moved it around for the photos. That's what the wall you would have seen in the vlogs now looks like. With the posters we got 11 years ago. A few objets, there's a David, more there. 
the uh, coordinates of where we met. That's now on the wall above the dining table. The photo's just done. Kitchen looks amazing. Kitchen looks amazing because <laughs> it's empty and there's nothing in there. Although I, I did buy a stunt bread because he was saying, oh, what I like to do in my photos is put in some artistic oil music. and uh, balsamic vinegar. I'm like, yeah, we're peck on right. me. So I just bought a loaf and we cut a slice. And you know, the photographer was like, oh, you've got a slice of bread to cut. I'm like, yeah, arty shots. Anyway, <laughs> kitchen. So plants are on top of the fridge. Got herbs, the bread corpse. Let's investigate. Oh, look, dead body bread. That looks like it's dirty, but it's just ingrown. Like an, <laughs> like an air. Like an air. An air. Like an air. An air. So, yeah, kitchen looking lovely. Never going to see it like this again. This is the work that's taken three weeks. Bedroom looks good. Oh. We're walking and you talking. You're going to see the bedroom. The hallway's got. Oh, we're going into the bedroom. We've never bumped in the bedroom before. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hallway has got a few odds and sods because we had to move it out of the way. Max there. No Funkos. No. And just some stuff. Cupboards are crap. No, yeah, the hallway. There's no longer a hallway. Bedroom. Da da. Yeah, oh, it's I the same got blue. Kids out. <laughs> David's got his kids out. Curtains were new, hence the uh, creases in them. To be fair, the duvet's new. It's just a stunt duvet. It's only for viewings. So, yeah, Friday the 25th. Photos done. We'll See how get, long it takes to sell. Yeah, we reckon on Monday it will be live and we'll show you that probably when it's on the internet. Now, what day is it today? Well, you know in videos when they go three years later. <laughs> it's not three years later. It's not three years later. Today's actually 9-11. Yeah, it's September 11th. The photos that the photographer took turned out great. Yeah. Uh, this is what they look like. This is what they look like. <laughs> Living room. <laughs> Bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Bedroom. You get the jizz. Stunt bread. <laughs> you get the what? Jizz. Jizz. No, not jizz. <laughs> you get the... It's got a T on the end. Gist. Yeah. Gist. You get the gist. See? Three <laughs> months later, still learning these words. <laughs> well, I was sweaty mess. We're in total chaos. So what's happened since we had the photos taken? Well, the, the went on the market. Up. Yeah. It took 18 days to sell. We had two viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is normal for us. <laughs> yeah. We've doubled, we're used to that. We've doubled our viewership. No, we had two viewings, not two viewers. We had two viewings. We were supposed to have a third, but originally they didn't turn up because they had a flood. And then when they were booked in, we got pinged. Remember we ran out back in that was July? That was Cafe, yeah. We got pinged. So then they couldn't come round. But by that point, or the second person who viewed it, they put in an offer. So we had an offer put in... Had a bit of argy bargy, and then we accepted an offer which we were happy with. All good. We'd also been to look at some properties. So in June we saw well, maybe three or four houses in total. Yeah, we put offers in on two of them, knowing they wouldn't accept it because we hadn't got this place on the market, and, and that one sold. And we put an offer on one which was a big house, but had a smoker. It really stank. It but was it was really a lovely smelly. house. It was really smelly. It needed a lot of work. He wouldn't budge on price. We had a few weeks of negotiation, but in the end, we walked away. Mm. And then... <laughs> Many sold two days later. <laughs> yeah. Higher than we were prepared to offer. So we, we were at peace with that because, you know, it yeah, would have been a great yeah. house, not for us. And then the, the house that we saw in June came back on the market. Mm. So we put in an offer and that was accepted. Yeah. So we, we have a, a house. And then since then, since we've seen you, we've been doing the normal house paperwork stuff today we have signed the contract for selling this place mm. we've got a provincial provincial not provincial no we're not bell we've got a provisional date of completion of october 18 i think the dave after your birthday yeah. the dave after your birthday the day after your birthday david can you tell we've been <laughs> we're a bit exhausted <laughs> Yeah, so we, between now and then we don't have any weekends. Today in the real world, our vlog about comparing our Walt Disney World and Disneyland Paris trip has gone up. Yeah. What we didn't know when we booked that Paris trip was that three days after we come back, we're supposed to be moving. Which is a bit crazy. That only, that, that, those dates only really got mentioned this week. It might get pushed back. The purchase won't be ready, we don't think, by the time yeah. we move out of here. So we are going to stay with a friend. Yeah, in Southampton. Which does mean we need to put everything else in storage. Now, you've seen the storage already. We've still got some more stuff to do. So today we are boxing up. This is what it looks like. And you know the other week, no, not the other week for you, in August, August bank holiday, we were going to dust the shelves. We didn't do it. Still not dusted them. Can you see where the stuff's been? Anyway, so we're putting all that stuff in boxes. The stuff over there we're putting in boxes. I'm conscious David sat in his pants, so um, there's his little head. Who? <laughs> I mean... Anyway, yeah, so that's all going in boxes. Boxes down there. There's quite a lot of toot on the table. Stuff's out. Hallway, 
got stuff. I mean, it looks like a bomb's gone off. More than normal. So that's what we're doing today. Odds and sods of packing because the more we do now, the less we have to do in the next few weeks. Ad hoc packing this weekend. University starts for me in a couple of weeks as well, so I'm totally freaking out. I need to go and get my uni books out of the lockup. Yeah, so we'll probably have, we'll have a walla walla. We'll probably have a wander around there, which you you know. Yeah. We'll show you that now. We printed off a load of labels. Q props. Labels. Oh, what's that one? Oh, master bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then what we've done is we've stuck them on the boxes that are in storage. Do you want to see? What we're going to show you. <laughs> And life. <laughs> Still not looking much better, but yeah. You can see like it says like garage, say? garage, 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 office. Oh, office. He's still learning his words. Office. <laughs> I'm so tired. We always had to come for David's uni uni books. Stupidly, we didn't leave them at the front. We kind of left them behind two layers of boxes at the very bottom. So that was not good. John, right. John Sawyer roll. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna go get food. <laughs> It's Friday the 8th of October. Your watch says good afternoon. It does say good afternoon. It's 15.08. What just happened? Four minutes ago, got notification by email and text. All right there, David. Someone's I'm needed. excited. That um, we've exchanged on the sale of the flat. <gasps> this doesn't belong to us anymore. Well, in, for 10 more days it does. So we complete a week on Monday. Ooh, but that's the update for now. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> <laughs> we're not rich. <laughs> we're not rich. We're about to spend it on a house. <laughs> we're not rich. Have you seen those bills for moving and everything else? As we told. <laughs> hey Google, stop music. It's now Saturday, 9th of October. Days it's are just confusing now. It's the day after we exchanged. Saturday, the 9th of October, 2021. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Google's just like taking over. It's. <laughs> it's Is Google coming with us? <laughs> we don't. Not if he keeps back chatting. We thought we were going to exchange sooner. The day before we did exchange, um, the person buying this flat didn't send the full 10% yeah. deposit to the solicitors, so that held it up. She was shortchanging us. <laughs> Not us. Not really. <laughs> no. So what's happened? We have had a quote to move our stuff from Should a we well-known... Should we sit down and do oh, this? Oh, come on then. So we had a quote from a well-known furniture removal people to move our stuff out of the flat oh, everything is an absolute tip here right now yeah so recap most of the stuff's in storage the rest of the stuff's in the flat the plan was to ask the storage people to pick up the stuff from here and in storage look after it until we complete on the new place and then deliver it that quote came back at 2600 pounds <laughs> we don't have 2600 we don't have 2600 pounds <laughs> so the plan b is we're now going to put everything in the storage unit and then we're going to find someone who will collect it at some point in the future when we've had a chance to plan it. But in the real world, tomorrow we're off to Disneyland Paris. <laughs> when we booked Disneyland Paris, we didn't expect that we were moving out three days after we come back. <laughs> it's, it's such a mess in here right now. We all we've been doing all morning is putting things into boxes because we need to be out next weekend. Even it's... though we complete a week on Monday, the. 18th yeah we don't want to be here on the monday to complete we want to finish everything next weekend to get everything in the lock up yeah. tidy up drop the keys off at the uh so estate the agents, agents. Yeah. and then drive to Southampton because on the sunday of next week it's david's birthday and even though he says he doesn't mind it's lugging just, stuff into storage day. it's just another day next year's the big one so um not 50 <laughs> no just in case anyone just us special them. people what is the world of 50 and amanda holden <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've spent the day preempting what we need to do next week, which is put everything in boxes. I mean, I'll show you the mess. We're not proud at this point. Oh, another curveball. Last week, the buyer said she didn't want these shelving units, that one and the one over there, and she didn't want the bed frame. Now, she said for months she did. So telling us two weeks before we're supposed to go has now caused us that we need to get rid of them it's fine happy to do that it's a big bed though it's a big bed needs to be deconstructed we can't take it to the dump because we don't have a van could get a van haven't got time to get a van so we've got the council coming to collect the pieces the next weekend so when we come up from paris we need to disassemble all these things 
bag them up, put them on the street for the council to collect on Burned Saturday. Up. All right, Jerry. Oh, and then also, because we're now putting everything into storage units, the storage unit we've got isn't big enough because, as you would have seen, <laughs> it's quite full. So we've had to get a bigger storage unit. So we now also next weekend need to move everything from storage unit A <laughs> to storage unit B and then put the furniture into storage unit, which we are doing ourselves. <laughs> I mean, we were stressed and last time we did the moving stuff. We didn't think we were doing anymore, but we don't have £2,600 and we don't have time to sort anything else out before we go next weekend because we're off to Disneyland Paris. So the timeline is tomorrow we go to Disneyland Paris, come back on Wednesday. I study on Thursday because I have to- I have to do u- weekly university stuff. We need to put a vlog up next weekend, so we need to finish that on Thursday as well. On Friday, I'm working. As am I. Because I don't have enough holiday for the whole shebang. shebang. And then Saturday, we are renting a van, taking the rest of this stuff to the new lockup, which is twice the size, moving the stuff from the other lockup to the bigger lockup, all the stuff from here in there as well. And that's a zip van, so we're paying <laughs> for that like a transit van paying for that by the hour but also because we need to move out of here to go to Southampton I also pick, need to pick up another van from Enterprise on Saturday morning which I'm returning to Enterprise in Southampton on Wednesday or Tuesday because we still need to take stuff from here that we'll be using up so to the clothes point. computers TV <clears throat> all that type of stuff all that <clears throat> stuff so on Saturday we're going to try and get out of here on Saturday I reckon it'll end up being Sunday we drive to Southampton on Sunday. For your birthday. And then we're not back and then, here. And then we'll never come back here. To this place. Oh. Another curveball is that the process of moving, we've realised which it's are... bloody expensive. Hot, well, <laughs> well, that's not new news. But we've worked out what our parking space is in the garage. Oh, yeah. It's number 44. <laughs> it's number 40. Oh. Is it or is it forty four? I thought it was forty four. I know where it is. I don't know the number. You'd think it's the same number as the flat. Oh no no no! But we've realised there's a dumped <laughs> car. Oh, oh no, 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 no no! I am so tired. <laughs> well, you might be tired because you've been watching this for days, <laughs> and it's spanned months. Yeah, there's a dumped car in our space. This it's is what it looks drive, like. Isn't it? Yeah, and by the amount of dust on it, it's been there for years. So have I. So I've been. Tr- <laughs> no dust on that but I've been trying to get it removed it's private land so you have to go through the management company can't go with the council but I've been bugging everyone left right and centre so the nice man came last week and he's going to come and collect it next week so that's one more other thing off my list of things to do oh that's another thing last weekend we got the little van and we took all our plants there was nine boxes of plants Mm. and some furniture down to our friends in anticipation because there's no way we could do it in one trip yeah and the plants like they're quite delicate and we've had some of them for a long time so but this is what oh my days please this sh1t pit looks like right now bearing in mind we've still got to iron and pack our bags for disneyland paris tomorrow we've just taken out four bags of rubbish i'll show you i'll show you i'll show you look there's a roll of bubble wrap <laughs> there's some boxes that box there is to put the telly in oh there's some bags got laundry out on the uh, balcony don't even look at the kitchen. We've not emptied the kitchen cupboards yet. There's David's uni books. Some trainers I need to throw away. That stuff would generally take to Disneyland Paris. Look at the dust in there, dirty boys. Pictures off the wall, all boxed up. This is stuff that we need to take with us. That's going in the van that we're taking to our friends. We're trying to get it in one space. We're trying to make sure it will fit in the small three metre van. So we're trying to keep it compact because if we don't go in, it ain't going. Covid shelf. Basically, anything on a shelf we need to deal with. So we're putting on a shelf so it's in I'll put view. myself on a shelf. <laughs> David's deal with me. Do you want to put yourself on a shelf? <laughs> More stuff on a shelf, including shoes, box, box, vacuum, suitcase for tomorrow. Some more boxes. Um, boxes that we boxed up that need to go into storage. Oh, I'll tell you about that in a second. Bedroom, we've got laundry. Yeah, don't even think about that. Oh, you showing them my special box. <laughs> there's, a ma- <laughs> there's a massive box at the end of the hallway, David. What is it? So... Ever since we decided we were going to move house, all I've wanted is a dining table, a big one. I found one in John Lewis and it was like £800 and it's just far too expensive. That's not it. Then I was looking at Pinterest and all those other places and I came across a table at, what's this place called? What's it called, David? La. 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 (laughs) La. 
Uh, <laughs> I mean, his, his words haven't progressed much in the last few months, but bless him, he's still trying. What's it called? La Redoute. That one. I originally saw it on there and it was uh, 25% off. And I was like, oh, that's a really good deal. But we, we don't need, we haven't got space for a table. Well, we thought, where do we put it? We've got nowhere to put it. Yeah, but the removal man would come and take it. Well, away. that's what then the logic was actually, you know what, let's get it delivered here. Cause... Because the removal man will <laughs> move it. And then. It got reduced by 40% because they had a special autumn sale. sale. Now the table's down to 300 and something. And the original table we were looking at was either eight or nine hundred pounds. So it's going up by the second. I can't remember if it was eight, nine, it don't matter because we ain't got that one. It's two meters long. It's oh, it's so nice. But the day after you bought it was the day we realized we got the quote, we got the quote for, for 2600. And we're like, yeah, we're it, not, it's, so, it's the heaviest table ever. So now we need to, now it's delivered here. We have to take that to the lockup ourselves. It's so heavy, but it's a beautiful table. I'm gonna need back support next weekend when we move stuff. So at some point, we will move. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with the vlog so far over all these months or 20 minutes in your lifetime tomorrow disneyland paris hope you enjoyed those vlogs if you don't know we went to disneyland paris then there's a link up there was it up there do you remember when we did thing and we went on the thing and it was great wasn't it yeah i'm sure it was all good that (laughs) will be happening in the next few days and i'm glad you enjoyed it because we did (laughs) it's thursday the 14th of october last night we got back from disneyland paris um that noise you can hear is this it's a low loader truck it's removing a car that's been dumped in our parking space. Today's the day, man from the council, getting it removed. Oh, something's happening. He's moving the van. Oh, oh, he's towing, he's towing. Oh, he's towing the little truck. Oh, it's like he's caught a fish and there's nothing on it. The nice man from the council brought me a cup of tea when he turned up. Bless him. That was very sweet, it was unexpected. Okay, little recap, that white car, can you see it? A little white car. That was one that was dumped, because there's also another dumped car in the car park, so doing two for one. Yeah, and there it goes, being towed away. Yay! Bye! Bye, you dumped car. Phew! One less thing to worry about for the move. One step closer. One step closer. It's Friday the 15th of October. We've been back from Disneyland Paris for two days. David's, <sighs> David, David's soaring off the, up the bed, because we can't <laughs> get it apart to take it downstairs for the collection for the uh, council tomorrow, and also, Look, those cupboards, there and there. We've had to dismantle them because they're going out as well. We couldn't get them out of the building in their current state because they're too big to go downstairs or lift. So um, we've um, disassembled them and they are outside the front door. Always looking busy. Yes, this is the make or break weekend. Big pile of wood. Yeah, it's Friday night, laundry everywhere because we're trying to make the most of the washing facilities. Not that we can't do it at our friends, but we had quite a lot, so we don't be turning up with lots of dirty laundry. And then living room looks a bit like this. Just stuff, just stuff. We're in that crisis moment where there's just stuff everywhere. And we have to be out in two days. Oh, dinner. We'll see you a bit later. Hey Google, mute. Mute yourself. It is Saturday, the 16th of October, birthday eve for this one. Oh, yeah. Birthday oh, eve. <laughs> Forget about it because it ain't happening this year. Well, you're not going to take me to a surprise party you've organised. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bond you in the back of a van like uh, that bloke in Silence of the Lambs. Anyway, that got, took a dark turn. I'm it's some moisturiser. Saturday, the <laughs> <laughs> 16th of October. Today is moving day eve. It's our last night tonight in the flat. Last night you would have seen us soaring up a bed. Wow. That went out on the street with the cupboards. The council have collected it this morning. I've been to pick up the minivan that will be taking one way to Southampton with our last bits of pieces tomorrow. But in an hour or so, I've got to pick up another van, a big transit van, to we take the like rest. Van. We do <laughs> to take the rest of this stuff. I like vans. Not the ones on your feet. This is what we got to take today. Sofa, table, table, suitcase, TV unit. Still stuff in the kitchen to be done. In the hallway, oh, dark, isn't it? These boxes all ready to go. They've got to go. All labeled whichever rooms they're supposed to go into. Two boxes in there. Covered of crap. It's just got stuff we're just taking. Oh, God, still stuff. Bedroom is looking like a laundry right now. Can't break my pants. 
uh, t-shirts um, mattress needs to go into storage printer and more clothes next thing on the agenda is coffee. David's having coffee then we're gonna load up the minivan at, load up the minivan we've got with some of that stuff go to the storage unit because we need to swap it for a bigger one which we've booked already before we take the rest of this stuff and put it in today. Gonna build this ceiling. <laughs> Hello. Floor two. One floor two. We're floored. Look, we've got a table collection. Doors would, opening. Would you like to see our table collection? It's very big, better than stamps. <sighs> what a pig in day. All right, this is the new improved, you say, I say improved, the new lock up. It's a hundred foot. We've managed to get the sofa in. We've just brought dining table and some other tables. And more tables. And there's the coffee table. <laughs> we did have the TV unit, but there was an accident. The legs broke off. And if it was easy to transport, we would be transporting it, but... So heavy. It's like solid wood. It's 1946. Well, not that you can see. It's 1946, Saturday night. We started around I don't 8 o'clock this morning. I, I don't mean the year 1946. We're not going back in time, although <laughs> I've no idea what year it is. Yeah, it's been a pig of a day. Moving day one. Yeah, we've still not finished. No. We've got to go back and pack all the clothes. And everything else. There's a bit more in the kitchen. Anyway, so, um, yeah, look. Big old lock-up. Our life. It's appropriate there's rocky music in the background. <laughs> we need that motivation right now. Um, we're gonna, we can do this. We're going to load we this up and then, it. and then we're going to go chippy and then eat, this. eat fish and chips in the van because it needs to be back by nine. We're going to be like proper workmen. Oh. See you tomorrow. Oh. Sunday, the 17th of October, also known as David's birthday. Happy birthday to me. Oh, happy birthday to you. Yeah, we're still in a... <laughs> Because it's my birthday, I get the only chair in the flat. <laughs> there is one chair left. It's David's office chair, which we're supposed to be taking with us. There's no other chairs. There's nothing. I have nothing. Nothing. Got a very low cut top but on today, which was not planned. However, you. You do. Although you keep saying like that, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. My body hurts so much. <laughs> don't, roll, don't roll off my toes with this chair. Cause I don't need to be maimed any more than yesterday maimed us. My wrists, my knuckles, my ankles all hurt from lifting and move, oh, moving. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah, so it's the final day. We're moving out today. Surprise. Although, yeah. although, look. Are we moving out today? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Does anyone move moving out today? I mean, at least the hallway's kind of clear. We're just having coffee. And then working out the plan. Always, oh, David, I'm totally this way. I've been pretending I'm on the teacups by spinning my chair. <laughs> I would show you, but he's in his pants. And... I'm not, I'm in shorts today. We'll come back to you when there's a bit of progress. What we need to do is put a few more things in storage, including the mattress mm -hmm. that we slept on. And it, we were just saying we could have slept on broken glass last night and it would have been absolutely wonderful. <laughs> we were so, like, like so tired. Annie. And then we've got to take rubbish out. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back with a progress report. I've got itchy nose. We'll be back with an update later. You're like, God, this has been going for hours, this, ep this episode of How You're Moving. Just bloody move. Yeah, we wish we could. What time is it? What time is it? It's Woo! 10 to 8 on David's birthday. Happy birthday, David. Why did you buy me an empty flat? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, oh. It's taken way longer than we thought. I, I, I'm delirious. It's taken all day. We're but... We are about to leave. Yeah, look, here we go. Do you want a flat tour? <laughs> Do you want a flat tour? Yeah. Flat tour. So here's the kitchen. You've seen it before. The big fridge. So we left a load of water because we literally don't have space for it and we bought That's too much. In case the boiler breaks. The boiler won't break and it's got nothing to do with that water. Cupboards, all empty. Well, apart from some bit bags of kitchen roll. Wash machine of not of dreams. Bye, you bastard. Oh, oh you should take that cloth and put that in the bin. Big old bubble wrap we're leaving. Door shut, door locked. Oh no, door not locked. First time we've locked that door. Oh, do you mind locking it for me, please? Door locked. Right, hallway, David's mopped. Was this a bag of rubbish? Good. Yeah. Bathroom, love this bathroom. Oh, that's the other bag of rubbish. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello, David. Love the shower. Gonna miss the shower. Well, shower where we're going doesn't have a shower like this. Nothing in those cupboards, is there? Um, I don't know. No. No. Okay. Bedroom. Got to pack the vacuum. Got some clothes in the cupboard. You know, at the end of a um, emotional EastEnders, they use. Dun, 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 no, dun, they dun. use the Julius theme version where it's all kind of. Dun, dun, no, it, it, it builds because it's emotional. It's a bit like that now. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling quite emotional. I, I had a bit of a moment. 11 years ago, you and I, this place. Right. All the good times. Next time you see us, I don't know when, but you will. <laughs>